So, getting ready to make a new sawfish kayak, and in this case I've decided to make a 14 footer with the idea that it would be really nice to be able to use it as a tandem or a single, and because of the lightweight nature of the boats, one person should be able to handle 14 footer without any problem. So the first thing would be to measure where you're going to cut the second panel that you're going to glue on for your bottom. And so here I measured six feet and I've marked. Did the same thing on the other side. <coughs> Take the chalk line and just to mark where to cut this. And now with a cut, got a two foot piece for decks and whatever, and a six foot piece for making the sides and the bottom. And so now for doing this setup for the butterfly scarf joint, I have my larger panel braced against something heavy so it's not going to move anywhere as I push against it and I take my other panel push it nice and tight try to make sure my edges are lined up straight because that will make a difference and then I use my foot this end, push it in tight as I can, and just step on it. And the friction of my weight walking on this will hold everything as tight together as it can be. And I've got my, well, this is like three or four inch, basically it's some sort of cheap duct tape, but I like how wide it is for how well it sticks to the foam. Sticks up both ends, and this right here becomes the hinge. We're taping the, the one we're flexing the open and shut for the glue. It doesn't hurt to put extra tie pieces on here just to keep everything from coming undone as you're moving it around. If you don't like that squeal of foam, my son cannot stand the sound of it for some reason. I guess it's like fingernails on a chalkboard to some people. So the trick I found is to get him some of those cheap earmuffs from Harbor Freight for you know, hearing protection. And with those on, the sound doesn't bother me. You can still hear me, but that squeak doesn't affect them anymore. So we've got our hinge pieces here, everything pushed down here, nice and hard, tight, make sure it's stuck well. And my weight's been holding this pin the whole time. This is part of the beauty of doing things the easy way. And then we go to glue. We're simply gonna take you get the butterfly part of the name right there because of the way it folds. And, and we'll go ahead and glue it. We're laying the glue into this joint. The best procedure I've found is to simply do kind of a V shape. If it starts to flow here. Like this. glue is thick tonight. And this will actually help it to uh, 
because this V will end up down in this open spot here and this V will end up in that so you'll actually end up with more of the joint covered than any other way that I can think of to do it before it decides to just run right off the edge of the panel which one advantage of it being really cold like it is right now it doesn't run very well which is a good thing when you're trying to do a wide panel like this and then this basement is we keep it at 40 degrees and even in the summertime it's always cooler down here than outside because it's buried in the ground so it keeps the glue from being too runny it doesn't have to be too thick because this stuff is really strong and it's going to spread because remember how tight I had this joint when I was standing on it so that's the idea for gluing right there and now for the part that makes this worth it I'm able to accurately put my joint back together tight. There it is. Put it down like that. So I'm make sure that my tape on the ends comes up a little bit. Next, kind of like a dam to keep any of it in here on the ends, if possible. against the tape so that we know for sure that those two sides are pressed together as tightly as possible to the best possible joint um, being pushed together and the glue being as tight in there as possible. And there it is. Nice thing about Gorilla Glue, it sets up quickly. Leave this overnight. Even at 40 degrees, I'll come back tomorrow and these two pieces will be stuck together and it'd be you will not be able to break the glue joint apart. You'll break the foam, you won't break the glue. And the glue still flexes just the way you want it to. So, butterfly scarf joint.